Again, today is Thursday, March 31st, 2011, and I'm actually up here in the corner of my tiny house to show the uh, electrical hookup for the DC, uh, the battery. Uh, right now I'm using one battery uh, for the DC power, uh, just one deep cycle. I think it's uh, rated at 105 amp hours or something. And uh, all of the wiring, the DC wiring in the house, I wired with a speaker wire. Uh, it's a very small run for everything. It's not, gen it's not uh, carrying a lot of voltage, not carrying a lot of uh, amperage. Uh, so uh, I just use speaker wire for most of it. Uh, I used regular housing wire for uh, the fridge and for something else. I can't remember. But um, basically, the, the, the big appliances that I felt needed extra uh, extra wiring. But for the, like the lights, the LED lights and everything, everything is just was used run using speaker wire. Really easy for me to do and feed through holes. Um, but all the wiring comes out up here. Uh, this, of course, this branch here comes to the negative terminal of the battery. All this here goes to a bunch of uh, a series of fuses, which then uh, on the other side of the fuses connects up to the positive terminal on the battery. Um, and I actually uh, have a little sticker right here on the front that tells me when I've done battery maintenance, uh, which was uh, the 25th, so about a week ago. So uh, the battery is topped off, running great. Uh, and of course, this is a solar collector, and it uh, just uh, it's the solar collector. It, it tells me, you know, what uh, what the the power thing is. Uh, right now it's showing 12.7 volts, which I found is, is, is pretty good, uh, especially as the sun's going down. Um, over the, during the night, it'll probably drop to about 12.4. Uh, in the heat of the sun, I've seen this get up to, uh, lately, today I saw it get over 14, uh, which means that, you know, power's going into the battery. Um, as far as I've read, uh, this is actually a pretty good charge on this battery. Um, when you get below... 11 and a half volts then you're in almost drained territory so and also in the back there you can see uh, an uh, AC outlet that I have I also have a little uh, trickle charger here just in case in like the dead of winter or something I'm panels are covered in snow I can't keep the snow off it because it's snowing so much uh, I do have the option to plug a trickle charger into AC power and uh, charge my batteries through that. So, uh, also up here at the very top, behind the netting here, there's another panel. You can see just wires coming through out. There's nothing connected to those wires. They're not bare wires just hanging there. There's no power going through them. But eventually I want to put in um, a, a receptacle here because that goes down uh, beneath the breaker box and into a little switch panel up to the side here. Uh, eventually, I would like to be able to the the power coming into the house uh, from the AC uh, runs through this box. I want to be able to um, basically uh, put a switch in there to switch it from the breaker box from going out getting power from outside to getting power uh, through the batteries through an inverter. I, I basically I plug an inverter into this outlet or into this uh, uh, box here, which the box will then power the uh, breaker box through an inverter, which will hook up to the batteries. But that's in the future. <laughs> it's uh, expansion possibilities. But, yeah, that's uh, the, uh, the, the power system for the tiny house.